right, from my calculations, that cannot be correct. Call my wife a liar? Whoa, sir. Whoa. Calm down. <laughs> okay, guys. Let's be civil here. So, PET scan is like, it's a positron emission tom tomography, which is a type of nuclear medicine that we give that measures the metabolic activity of the cells in your body tissues. This device is actually a combination of nuclear medicine and biochemical scanning analysis. Mm-hmm, I'm listening. Okay, so, Yes, your dog can die from a PET scan, but it would depend on how long it's getting the PET scan or how many the dog has had and the time in between the scans. But your dog isn't dead. So our dog is not dead. dead. No, your dog is not dead. I knew about this the whole time. It's what? Ob it's obviously the medicine we gave the dog to calm it down and put it to sleep so we could perform the PET scan. What the? 3.28 a.m. Don't touch it. Okay, it's recording. So basically, our dog ain't dead. Pet skins don't kill dogs. So. All right, all right, it doesn't kill your dog. It just scans it, <laughs> and it. What does it look for? Cancers. Oh, cancer. And, yeah. Yes, and uh, extra facts that we didn't put in the the skit were pet scan. X-rays work by using carbon 11 and 11 is the atomic mass and even though Carbon is six on the periodic table. It actually has only five protons and neutrons in it So it sends those gamma rays through the body and then the device detects the radioactive decay Carbon 11 is an, is unstable and therefore when passing through the body it is using energy rather than radio waves and this energy is shot through the body and detects cancer in your body and kills it. Also, the PET scan device works by detecting areas of activity in the body with energy. The more radioactive the cells are, they will glow brighter or darker depending on the activity of the cells. Okay, so the learning intention for this project is I can explain radioactive decay and differentiate between the three types of radiation. So basically, I think I'm on deep in this project because I can explain that the radioactive decay is when the element and chemicals become unbalanced from their atomic number and they have an unbalanced amount of protons, neutrons, and electrons in them. So then they get a chemical reaction and then after the chemical reaction kind of like eventually calms down, it leaves radioactive decay and radioactive decay is still radioactive. It's just, it's not having a reactionary effect. Um, for the last part, I'm going to be explaining the three types of radiation. There's alpha which is the weakest of them. It can basically, like, it's like the weakest wave. It can get blocked by a lot of stuff. And then there's, um, there is beta. And beta is a little bit stronger, but it's not as strong as gamma. Gamma can go through anything, and it's kind of like a radio wave, but it's not. It's, they're all three types of radiation, but they all they all can get stopped by something. And the strongest one of them all is probably gamma rays. Because it can basically go through like lead and aluminum. And like a bunch of stuff. But others can't. Like beta and alpha can't. Um, so yeah, gamma rays the strongest. And those are how I de-infiltrate. de I, I can't even say it. That's how I... I know the three. Okay, so I'm in deep. Um, deep is I can define radioactive decay of an atom. And radioactive decay is the spontaneous breakdown of an atomic nucleus, making it release of energy and matter from the nucleus.
ambiguous. Okay, so I can define the three types of radioactive decay in my own words. And alpha is a um, helium emitted by some radioactive substance as a ray. And gamma rays is the product of a radioactive autumn, atoms. And beta is a high energy electron. Okay, so I am in deep for the success criteria in this project because I can list the three types of radiation, which are beta, alpha, and gamma, and that's the weakest waves to the strongest waves. And I can also define what radioactive decay is, which is it's basically an unstable chemical that had a chemical reaction that caused the radioactive radiation to break down leaving weaker radiation for this project i am in d because i am able to list the three types of radiation which are beta alpha and gamma um, I can also define radioactive decay, and it's pretty much just an unstable chemical causing a chemical reaction that leaves a weaker radiation as a result.